Okay, so welcome back to the shop. We're down in the basement, aka the dungeon. We're going to get started right away with the whole video because today I have things planned with my wife and my kids. Um, we're going to go to Dave and Buster's. So yeah, it's going to cost us a fortune, but they really like it. We only go a couple times a year, so um, it's definitely worth it. I have fun too. I play the games with the kids and um, what else is there to do at Dave and Buster's? They don't have the go-karts. That's um, Sports Emporium. Out here in Pennsylvania, there's a place called Sports Emporium. They have go-karts, and they have all the games inside. Um, I think Sports Emporium and Dave & Buster's both have, like, alcohol, like, where you can... Do they? I don't even know. It doesn't really make sense to take your kids somewhere where there's alcohol, but um, I think Dave & Buster's... I think they do have, a, like, a lounge bar or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'm just mistaken. I could be mistaken. Don't don't quote me on that one. Anyway, let's get started right on the haul video. We're going to get right into the bolos. If you don't know what a bolo is, it's be on the lookout for. I don't know why it's not called a bowl off. It should be called a bowl off. But anyway, we're going to get right into the Lego sets. All right, so this set is, this is the Lego, the Lego Batman. Let's see. It's called the. The Batman movie, no instructions. Okay, all right, so I paid 25 a piece for them. There's this one. This one, I believe, is about 150 to 200 online. It's got a big box. It probably would make sense to sell it without the box, but um, some people might want the box, even though this box is a little destroyed. I'm gonna try to save it the best I can, maybe take the tape off, but the number of the set is 70917. Super score. I paid 50 for both sets. So that set is, like I said, worth up to close closer to 200, I think. And this is this is the mother load. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. It is the Silent Mary. I guess that is the name of the ship. So this set can run up to about eight hundred dollars or more. So I paid twenty-five for the whole set. Most of the bags inside are sealed, if not all of them. I'm really not sure, but just to give you a taste, most of the bags are sealed. So I'm gonna count them and make sure that most of it's here so there is part of the ship. So that is what happened. They started to they started to build it and that was it. They said, nope, too much. Hopefully there's nothing missing. Like I said, that might have just been the beginning. I don't know if there's instructions for this one. I'll have to look, but for an $800 set, I think we're going to do fairly well on this set. I find those every now and then. I found a, um, a Connect set a long time ago, like maybe like three years ago. That set sold for, I think at the end, I sold it for like three or $400. And that was brand new sealed. And that was just sitting at a community A, just sitting up. And it was f like $7. I think it was 5 or $7. And it was a box this big. Sometimes I think they price items like that um, very low just to move them. Just because they're so big and they take up so much space. I'm just assuming that. That's just my assumption. Now, don't quote me on that. Don't you quote me on it. Okay, man. Okay, man. Wow. I was going to leave it. I was going to leave it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I'm going to look it up. If there's not a whole lot of value here... I don't know if my son can appreciate this. He's more of a sports fan. He's not really into that, but it was only one doll hair, so I jumped on it. It is really cool. It's made it's made by the Music Box Company, something Music Box Company. Let me see if I can get a better look at it to show you guys. San Francisco Music Box Company. It is the Beethoven. It has Beethoven. Wow. There's no date on it. Mystical Magic Dragon. Agains. Agains? Oops whatever i don't know maybe this thing's worth a hundred bucks you know I, do, I don't know and i wouldn't be surprised because of all the scores that i made at that sale all right so these are all yard sales so i picked this up a lot of times these do very well it was five dollars i took a chance i didn't look it up um i should have looked it up but i seen that it has the old school it's it's one of those really old ones my guess would be that this is probably worth about $30. Um, somewhere between $25, maybe up, up to $50 or more, depending on the model. This is a tactical control stick. It's it's the F-15E Hawk. It's got the serial number on it right there. Da-da-da-da-da-da. It's made by Sun, Suncom. 
Suncom technology. It's the F15 E Hawk. Um, like I said, I'm going to look it up. Some of these sticks, they go for really good money. People can really get on online. And this one doesn't have suction cups. It just sits on the on the table. It's kind of heavy. has some weight to it. Um, I'll look that up and get that listed. They, they're they really easy to list. They're very easy to ship. So we'll go with that. Um, I wasn't going to buy this. This is a Turk. Um, this is a Turk antenna. Whenever you guys see these, they do sell really well. This is an HDTV antenna. Found another pair of iPhone headphones. That's the second pair I found in two days. Um, this goes in the window. They said it worked really well in their camper, wherever, you know. So I would imagine this is going to work fantastic for your TV if you need an antenna. Um, yeah, if you guys ever see anything, leave a comment. You know, I could, you know, maybe work out a deal, um, something on eBay or whatever, or whatever you guys want to do. Um... I, I can't go outside of eBay because it's against their policy. So if it's already listed on eBay, then I, I probably should sell it on eBay. You know, I just want to follow the guidelines. But anyway, I just sold one yesterday. Um, it was a little bit different than this. It didn't have a flat antenna piece, but this one's really cool. I don't know what it's worth. It was three bucks. So like I said, yeah, you should be looking things up. You know, don't lead by, don't, don't follow me because, you know. All right, so these are brand new. They have the tag still on them. They're still wrapped up in the bag. These are um, they're Roth, Rothko. These are Rothko. So basically, these are like, I think they're army boots. Those are, I think there's a rubber band. I think they're just tied in a knot. Let's untie the knot. Ta ta the knot. Ta the knot. Digital Underground. Shock G, rest in peace. Um, that was in the movie with Dan Aykroyd, the one, the one where they stop and they get and the and the judge is like a crazy. It, it's just an insane movie. I forget what it's called, but the the song's called "Tie the Knot." Man, smell that. Brand new. These are brand new. Still in the box. Still in the plastic. Um, so I don't know what the value of these are. I I know when they're new, they're worth a little bit more. There's definitely more val more value to them when they're new. There are seven regular. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to put these back in the bag because well, I'm guessing that they should be in the bag just to keep them from getting scratched up. And But um, I still have to take the pictures. Seven regular, yeah, original bag, original box. Um, for five bucks, I know the value's there. Um, I'll probably get like somewhere between $30 and $40 for these, maybe even a little bit more. Um, sometimes you have to go by the size. They fit right in the box, so they actually had these delivered to them. I'll have to take that off of there. You don't want to see somebody else's address. So, really cool. Five bucks. Um, Rothko's do sell very well. They're military, um, army boots, whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need to finish my sandwich. All right, so here is the Harry Potter books. We got one. One, two. Let's see. One, two. One, two, three, and four. So there you go. One, two, three, and four. I don't know if I need any of these. Um, I always pick them up whenever I can find them cheap. Like I said, I really don't like to pay more than a dollar for them. Um, two to three is probably the three is probably the highest I will pay for a book. Because, you know, believe it or not, they only sell one the books only sell for a certain amount. Now if you can find the first issue. If you can find one in like a first edition, and I think you have a little bit of value there. I don't know. 1998, 2008. So this is definitely not a first edition. I hate when they put stickers on books. I hate when a thrift store does that. It's so annoying, but it is what it is. You know, it's not your stuff. So, but anyway, like you guys seen in the thumbnail, I picked this up for a dollar. This is a vintage starter. Um, that's called the script in the front. This is a script. Um, pullover hoodie. It's in like there's no fading. It's in really really good condition. It's got the big starter on the back. Paid a dollar for it. It's got the bulls on the on the front. I paid one dollar for that. Imagine that. Unbelievable. It is a large, but I know that it's going to run small and it's probably not going to fit me. I mean, it might because it doesn't look like it was even worn. I'm sure it was, but not very not very much. So I don't know if this is an old, old one, but it's a, it's a starter. So I'm guessing that it's probably pretty old. 
Probably some some age to it. Um, okay, so whenever I see Keens, I always pick them up. These were $2, and she said they have the orthopedic soles in them. That's why they're so heavy. Believe it or not, you can take the soles out and sell them separate. Because I'm sure that they are... Yeah, these are... Oh, yeah, these are junk. I'll probably just get rid of them. These are super feet, and these are the ones that are actually worth money, but there's so many things. If I can pull all that off of there, we might... I might be able to pull it off, but you can sell the soles by themselves too. But what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to spray them and just sell them without the soles. But um, these are probably only worth like maybe like thirty dollars, so two bucks into thirty, not bad. Um, these are really nice. They're women's, small size. Women have small feet. Not all women have small feet, but you know, whatever. All right, sticker, get off my hand. Okay, so here's another big bolo. All right, so this is a Coleman Golf Cat Perfect Temp Catalytic Heater. This goes on your on your golf cart when you're playing golf or whatever, um, whatever you have the reason for. I paid ten dollars for this. Um, there wasn't a price on it. I just asked her how much it was. She said ten dollars, and this is brand new inside, still in the packaging. Um, I see one sell new other same thing open box for 150 and then another open box one sold for 150 so there's two that sold for 150 with the barcode with this barcode scan so i don't know how many are actually listed and how many are actually sold but 150 sounds good to me so all right so this is another thing i got to do a little more research on this is the kinsey african-american art and history collection just a really cool book. My daughter could probably appreciate this, but I've been giving her so many books. Um, I think she has enough. She has a lot. And this one I'm going to try to get some profit out of. Um, this was a $100 book. So, as you can see, it was 100 for the regular book, right? No, 60 I'm sorry, 60 for the standard and 100 for the book with the slip cover, with the cover. Now, this has the jacket, but I don't think that's what they mean. By maybe that is what they mean. Maybe that is the slip cover. I don't know. I know that's called a jacket. They call that the jacket, but whatever. All right, so I actually absolutely had to have this. This is a junior shuffleboard kit. It's a vintage kit. Um, this is the shuffleboard game where you have the sticks and you have the have the little you have the discs or whatever that you you take this and you slide it on the ground and it actually even has the diagram of the, 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 um, that you paint on the ground or whatever you have it, but you have to have a really smooth surface to play this. So then you just push it and I, I don't know how to play it, but I just thought it was really cool. It's really old. The sticks are in great condition. Like it's just the condition of the set is just really good. And that's the reason why I picked it up. So I don't know, man, it might be worth something to somebody, right? So I paid five forty one to ten. I offered five and he said, Okay, I'll take it. Alright, I think I paid seventy-five cents for this. This is a Motorola speaker. I think that this is a Bluetooth speaker. I'm not positive. I think that maybe you have to plug it in and charge it and then So I don't see anywhere for you to plug anything else into it. So my guess would be that this is probably Bluetooth. I'm gonna charge it, I'm gonna look it up, and I'm gonna see what it is first. All right, so this is the stuff I got from the lady that just moved back from, I think she was in, not Baltimore. Where was she at? I don't remember where they moved to. It wasn't Baltimore, but this is cool. This is made by Delft Sport. It's heavy. It says Baltimore. It's just kind of like a, like a, um, like a, um, what's that called? What's this felt? Velour. This is called Velour. So this is a Velour baseball kind of like a baseball pullover v-neck kind of like a jersey but it's a heavy velour sweatshirt so it's like a sweater sweater jersey whatever i thought it was cool thought it was cool i think it was only a dollar that's why i grabbed it too bad it wasn't a throwback right all right so now now we're getting into all right so these are definitely worn i wasn't sure if they were worn or not but they were in the box. It looks like they stepped in some gum. I'm going to have to clean that up. Looks like they stepped in some gum again. Man, they had a lot of gum. So maybe that's why they got rid of them. Maybe they didn't want to clean that up. Maybe it made a mess and they just got aggravated. But these are cool. 
Um, they're definitely worn or definitely used, but they were Nikes and they're only $3. So I, I grabbed those up. So I didn't realize there was going to be cleaning involved, but uh, surprise, surprise, surprise. All right. So we have this Dora band CD player. Um, really low end brand, probably not worth much, probably worth about maybe 15 bucks, something like that. I paid a dollar for it, probably overpaid. All right, so along with them, I've seen a pair of Timberlands. These are in worse shape than I thought they were as well. I'm gonna clean them. They have a little bit of dirt in them. They're not too bad. They just need to be cleaned. I'm gonna clean these. I think you can clean suede with soap and water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these up. I might even give them to my grandson. You know, there's only $6 invested there. It's not a whole bunch. So I picked these up because these are steel toes. These are floor shine. They were only a dollar. Um, they're definitely pretty good condition. Plenty of tread left in those. Um, maybe like 30 bucks for them. I need to start pricing my shoes a little bit lower so I could get rid of them. I think my expectant my my expectancy or whatever my just expect too much for certain items and I just need to blow them out. They just need to go, you know. Need to sell. That's why I just took some offers on some VHS tapes just to get them out of here, you know. I knew that they would sell. See, that's the thing. The thing is picking stuff up. If you can get it to sell really fast, um, and you have to sell them a little bit lower, then so be it, you know. Then go ahead and do that. But I don't know if I'm going to keep this bag or not. Maybe. All right. So the one sale that I went to, the lady had a bunch of polos. And then I asked her if she had any games. She said, yes, I do have some games. So I got, got the rock band guitar. She said they never really used it. I mean, they, they might not have used it at all. There's nothing shaking on the inside. This is, is this the one? Yeah, these are the ones I like. They're easier to ship. They come apart. You can take them in, you can take them in half. I'm going to put this with the game and I should probably get probably like $70 for that. You know, I'll just do free shipping, whatever. I'll just bite the shipping. I didn't pay that much. I think I paid $14 <clears throat> total at that yard sale. So let's see. Let's see if we can find the games and we can go through that first. The games are here. All right, let's go through that one first. This one has the games. I'm just ripping the bags. I'm gonna throw them out anyway. All right, so those are the rest of the polos. So we got all of these games. I paid 14 total for the games, the guitar, and all the polos. So not bad. I think I paid eight dollars for all of these games. She kept most of the good ones. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What I'm gonna do is I'm either gonna lot them up. I'm probably going to lot them up. I'm not selling these individually. There's no way. But I will put the Guitar Hero with the guitar. So that'll go with that. And these will go separate. And most of them are children's games. If any of them are games that my kids want to play, um, just to go back, back in time, you know, maybe some of these, Le there's a lot of Lego ones. Maybe I should sell the Lego ones together. There's Batman, there's Harry Potter, um, there's the Complete Saga, and then there's Star Wars. So, so that's Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars. So, I guess the complete one through six. Wow. That one might have a little bit of value to it because that's all of them. And then the Disney Universe one, I think that one has a little bit of value too. Um, I think I just picked, didn't I just pick up the Disney Universe? Don't you need the, don't you need the thing for that? I don't think so. I thought you needed the, like the, like the Skylander type of deal, like the, the portal or whatever. I'm not really sure. I don't know. But still not a bad deal for these games. I think she just wanted to just get rid of these. A lot of these are not in the greatest condition. So, you know, as long as they work, that's all that matters. I don't really care about the condition. So let's get into the polos. We got, we got some really nice polos at this last sale. I'm going to move these over here. We'll do them afterwards. So I think I got about maybe like six polos. So we got this one. I'm probably going to lot them all together because they're all large and they're definitely going to sell better that way. This one's actually a custom fit. This one is an extra large, which means that in a custom fit, it would be a large. It would probably fit me. Um, this is a nice color. I'm probably going to keep this one. I'm going to try it on, and if it fits, I'm going to keep it because I am definitely a polo guy. If I'm not wearing jerseys, I'm wearing polos or, you know, polo sweaters, whatever. So I, I love polo. It's just a great brand. 
This one is an extra large also. This one is not a custom fit. So we'll, we're going to put that one together. There's that one. Um, I think she said he never wore the purple one. That one's not a custom fit. And yeah, I think she said he didn't even wear this one. So there's a purple one. Just all polos do sell. They just don't sell for that much, which is the reason why I'm probably going to lot them all together. So the white one didn't seem like it was in the best condition. That one's not a custom fit either. So that one's in decent condition. I don't think it's really stained. And then there's that color, which is kind of like a teal with the pink. I'm going to go ahead and I don't care what the conditions are of them. I'm going to, they're all going to go together anyway. And then there's a brown one. They're all extra large. They're all too big for me. I, I wear them in a large, but I'm going to keep that other one because of the stripes too. I like when they have those multi-stripe type of deal on them. They're the ones I like. Those are the older ones, like the ones that are maybe closer to the 90s. Just that 90s vibe. I, I don't even know if they're that old, but. Everybody thinks that just because it has an old polo sign on it that they're from the 90s, but that's not. The, the new tag is not that new. Like, I'm guessing that tag's probably not, maybe 10 years old. May, you know, I could be wrong, but these are called brown paper bag. These are brown paper bag cookie molds. Um, it'll say it right on the back, and it'll say the year, and it should say what it is. Brown bag cookie art. Well, it just says 92. So that one says 92, and then it has the pig eating eating a watermelon so i don't some of them are worth a lot it depends on which ones they are some of them are different maybe more rare so but i always pick them up when i get them really cheap they were really cheap so i picked them up i think they were what like two dollars um then i'm probably gonna put these two together because they're both pigs here's another one brown bag cookie art this one does not have a date on it but like i said i'm gonna lot these two together since they're both um pig themed and um, maybe I'll get 20 to 25 for them. I'll be really careful when I ship them because they're fragile. All right, so what else do we got? We got some more stuff. All right, we got some more cheap stuff. All right, so this was only 75 cents for all of these. These are Toy Story. I don't know if they're old or not. Are these old? I don't think they're real old. I don't see a date on them, but these are the same. You got Buzz. We have Buzz Lightyear, Toy Story, and it experience the Toy Story border in 3D. Wow. I think that, do they come with the glasses? They do. They come with the glasses. So these are 3D. I don't even know what these are worth. I just grabbed them because I know that this type of stuff does sell. Here's another one. That, this one was actually open. All right, so this is definitely going to be enough for somebody to do their room. This one has the glasses. These are really cool. Yeah, I don't know what these are worth. I know this one is new. That one's missing the cardboard, so it is what it is. It's all good. All right, we're going to close this one up. There. So there's three of them. And then there's uh, itchy. Sweating. It's still hot down here. And then we have this one, which does not have the 3D glasses, but this one is also a buzz. All right, so this one is another buzz. This one's missing the, it's missing the plastic. So we'll go ahead and throw them back in there. I'm not really sure what I'm going to get for these, but for 75 cents, I know that I'm going to make money off of them some way or another. I'll definitely make money off of those. All right, so we're going to put them over here. And there was more. There's more. All right, so then these are, these I'll probably give to my granddaughter because she likes um, she loves Disney. These are the self-stick room appliques. All right, so I'm going to give these to my granddaughter. They're going to go home with me today. And then this, I'm going to put this with the um, with the borders. I don't know if two is going to be like too many. I would imagine I can make a little bit of money by putting them together. It was only 50 cents. So the total is only a dollar and a quarter that I have total into this. I'm going to sell those four with this one in a lot. And I should do pretty good. Not too bad. All right, so I did get some joggers. I got another pair of joggers for my boys. They're a large, so that and that, they're going home. These are going home. Oops. I dropped it in. Those are going home. All right, so what else we got in here? We got anything else? Hello. Nothing else in the bag. 
All right, so this was this was brand new. It was I think everything was like a dollar or something. I know it's not worth that much. I'll probably only get like fifteen or twenty dollars for this. Chaps is not a real like. It's a large. It's my size, but it's a solid red. I'm not gonna wear it. <clears throat> like I said, when it comes to the polos, I only wear them. I only wear them when they're striped. I love the ones that are striped. All right, so this is a Cabela's. This is a chamois. That's how you spell chamois, if you guys don't know. This is a deer, deer skin soft chamois, and it's a 2XL. It's a really good size. Um, I'll probably get about 25 for this. This was only a dollar. It's a really good size. So I probably should have made sure all the buttons were there, but nine times out of ten, you know, there usually are, but you should probably check. Don't take, you know, don't take my word for it. Sticker, get off. Man, that's really stuck in my hand. All right, we got two more bags, guys, and then we'll end this video. It didn't take that long. All right, so I paid a quarter for this micro cassette. Some of these micro cassette players can have some really good value, um, depending on the model, the model and make. This is made by, this is a realistic one. Um, a lot of times they don't work. So I did take a chance by buying this, but it was so cheap. There's there's the earpiece in there. It's actually, yeah, see, I think that what, yeah, that's the battery. I, I should have took it out of the thing. That's battery stuff. So, already a bad sign. Okay, so I have to... I have to get this open. I got to work on that. It's not opening. It's it's definitely leaked inside. Um, if I can clean it, no one ever took the batteries out of them, and that's just what happens. Terrible, but we'll figure it out. All right, clean that up. Clean that up. I'll just go ahead and throw that on there, and that's what I'll work on. I won't. Okay. Put that in there. I will work on that when when the video is over. I have some electronics that I do need to work on too. I should just take them home and work on them, but I don't like to bring my work at home. I'm already listing from home, so I am bringing my work home. I don't want to work on electronics at home. I don't want to do that. I need to do it here. I have the DS that I got the back to. Um, I got this, the screwdriver to take it apart because it takes one of those V screwdrivers I gotta take it apart I think that it just got wet and I don't think that it's gonna work and I'll probably have to sell it for parts I'm glad I didn't pay that much for it so I'm really not really losing that much in it so this I got for the wifey got this for our new house thought that she would like it and my, my son likes butterflies because he likes um, skies little skies and he's all about butterflies right, I think we're still I think we're still a little twisted up here. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh -oh, that's the piece that sits on the bottom. Like that's supposed to go. There you go. Butterfly. I thought it was cool because it has that really neat, like, iridescent type of deal to it. We're going to put this back in here. And we're going to put it away. Put that in there. Close that up. This can go in a bag along with my stuff. Alright, so just pretty cool. I'm gonna put that out front. Just to just to annoy the neighbors, you know. Alright, so I paid a dollar for Monkey Ball. Um this is in really good condition. This is for the Nintendo 3DS, it is complete. Has the game inside, has the book, and um we should do okay with that. Probably sell pretty fast. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and get that listed today. Um, oh, I got another thing for... I got this for my grandson. It is Paw Patrol. He loves Paw Patrol. So, so is my granddaughter. This is a 2T. This might even fit him now. Maybe. I don't think he's ready for that yet. But, whatever. Alright, so we got a couple more clothing items. Kind of boring. Whatever. Got some Levi's. Um, this is a Levi's skirt. Usually they tend to do pretty well. This will probably sell pretty fast. I'll cross list it over to Poshmark too. Just your basic. Um, it's a just a pencil skirt. When they're skinny like that, they're called pencil skirts. 
All right. So the only reason I picked this polo up was because of the vibrant colors on it. It's a classic fit. Long sleeve. Has the multicolor pony on it. Multicolor horse and, and jockey. Um, they call it a pony. I don't know why, but it's not a pony. It's a horse. So, you know, whatever. Um, I just like the, I really like the colors on this. I just thought they were really cool. I think I can get a few bucks for that. You know, probably not get rich on it, but whatever. That bag's ripped. I need a better bag. I need this one. How's that? That one's ripped too. Duh, I ripped all of them. Well, there's one there that's not ripped. All right, so this is made by Roxio, I think. All right, so this is Easy VHS to DVD 3 Plus. I don't know what this is worth. I didn't. I didn't look it up. I just grabbed it because it was there. Um, it was super cheap, and it's sealed. It's brand new. It was never used. It still has the. Is that the original seal? Yeah. It still has the original seal on it. So I don't see any other tape on over top of that. All right. So the box is just, is definitely damaged. Um, but it shouldn't hurt the value too much. I don't know what this is worth. Could be worth a lot. Could be worth a little. We'll see. Like I said, I just picked it up because it's brand new. And it was super cheap. And I don't know who Watt is. Plays for the Texans. I don't know who you are. Um, obviously extra large. I think this is a woman's jersey. Has a little stain on the back of it. Um, I'll probably get that off. Maybe even with Goog on since that's a, since that's, um, a harder... You know, a more of like a fabric. So, we'll see. I don't know what it's worth, but... We shall see. I had to spit some... I don't know. Eating something or... Um, I'm eating wheat bread. I think there's like maybe little seeds in it. Eh, eh. Little Jim Barnes for you. Hey, Vern. Hey, Vern. All right, this was the sale that I went to where there was some like, there was a um, there was a Harley shirt, but it was overpriced. She wanted ten for it. I mean, probably would have been worth it. Now she won seventy five cents for the Harley shirt, so I'm like, okay, I'll pay seventy five cents for the shirt. It's probably local. This is actually Wisconsin. This is a Wisconsin Harley Davidson. It's got the bling on it. They all seem to be there. It is two thousand. 2015 maybe so it's definitely new got a nice little stretch to it um it might be too stretched out i don't know we'll see I'll, I'll definitely i'll make sure that i measure it got a bunch of hats and i picked this up because i think that here's a bag that's not ripped we shall use that all right so i picked this up because it looks like it was only 50 cents yeah it's vintage all right, so this is like a bright orange, made in USA, really cool fleece sweater, size medium, super, super dope. This is a brand new sweater. So um, someone can use this maybe to print on if they want to print something really cool on a vintage um, sweatshirt. Winter's coming, starting to get cold. Um, I don't know if I should give this to my granddaughter. I don't know if she'll wear it. But it is brand new with tags. I can see. I just think she has so much stuff. A lot of the stuff that I give her, it just gets thrown on the floor. Like, um, it's not like, oh my god, wow. There's certain things that I do buy her that she really loves. Oh my god, wow. Sound like, sound like Kevin Hart. Oh my god, no, no, oh my god. But anyway, I don't know what we can get for that. It's only an eight dollar Boscov's hat, so you know, probably not a good buy. But the rest of these are Disney. Like, you have to get them at Disney. I think they were a quarter. Here's Cinderella. Oh, this one has them all on it. Look at that. That one has all of them embroidered all around it. So, this one I could probably get a little bit more for. I think this is a Disney. This is a Walt Disney World hat. You got to get this at Disney. Um, so, it's just really cool. It's a children's hat. Um, maybe even a mother. I don't know if it's an It is an adult. So, this is an adult mom hat. Okay, so we're good. So, I'll get a, good, I'll get a decent amount for that. Probably maybe like 20 bucks. These are all like a quarter, so... You know, I paid a dollar for all of them, probably. All right, this is North Carolina. I'm guessing it's basketball. But the colors are just really, really weird. But it's a Nike Elite. I don't know if my son would wear that or not. He might. He might actually wear that. Maybe I'll give that to my son. 
he does tend to wear hats that are that are like that also. So I don't know. Plus, it's Jordan's team. You know, his college that he went to is North Carolina. That's who he played for. I think this is Disney too. Here's another Disney Park hat. It's just got the little bling on it. I'll do well with these. These should sell for a decent amount. Here is another Disney Park. This is actually just a just your basic Disney hat. I don't think this is from like Disney World. So this is the last thing that we are going to look at. Like I said, these were all a quarter. And uh should be pretty good. It's got a cool design. I don't know if it's from Disney World, but it just says Disney. Could be from Walmart. I think it's an adult size. It is. So here's another adult one. So these are adult hats. They just look little. So these are like women's hats. That's what they are. These are like women's. <clears throat> so that's probably what I'll list them under. Women's, children, whatever. So I'm going to take a look at that micro cassette. See if I can clean it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And you've seen some stuff that maybe inspired you a little bit. Those Lego sets. Super score. The other thing. The Coleman Golf Cat. Really awesome, man. I'm telling you, there, the stuff is out there. You just got to go out and find it. Um, the as for, the rock band, I'm going to do well with that. I mean, I probably spent a decent amount today, but the value, the the profit is just so far ahead of, you know, what I even spent. <clears throat> I think I left the house with like maybe like 150, something like that. And I pretty much spent all of it. So um, I did get something to eat. I think I put gas in my car, but I didn't use cash. I used my card. So, yeah, I think I did spend about a buck fifty today. So, make sure you guys are keeping track of that, of what you guys are spending. Yeah, I pretty much I spent almost one hundred and fifty today. I will write that down in a book. I'll write down all the money that I'm spending at yard sales, and that will be um, for your taxes at the end of the year. Those will be deductions. What you're spending on your merchandise on your product on your supplies whatever you have it so i keep track of everything i keep all the receipts for my bubble wrap my mailers everything my poly all that stuff is deductible at the end of the year especially your shipping when you're shipping on ebay it's ridiculous i'm saying if you spend 100 hours a week on 100 hours a day on shipping that's 700 hours a week that's a lot of money dude that's like thirty-five thousand dollars a year that you're claiming on your taxes do not forget that so um, I do my own taxes because it's really not that complicated. Um, I just do um, I do the um, I do the method. I, I I file a sole proprietor. But anyway, I'm not a, I'm not a um, CPI. I can't really give you guys information about that. I can't give you like advice and stuff. But um, anyway, I just do it myself. I do TurboTax. I just spend a hundred bucks and just do it all myself. I save all my receipts. I write everything down. Blah da 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 da. Yada yada. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. Peace out.